New year, new me, turn it up a new degree I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I see Work hard every day, work hard, then we play I'll be doing everything in my own damn way Hey guys, good morning. I just woke up. It is um, 3.35 a.m. I'm about to take my uh, shot glass of supplements. It's uh, all my supplements in a shot glass container. And then uh, my shake uh, with my pills. Happy New Year, everybody. By the way, day one of Better By The Day. And I'm gonna be uh, recording as much of my day as I can. I'm gonna be showing you guys kind of how I train my clients. I'm going to be showing you the food I eat. I'm going to be showing you guys um, basically how I live my life, the things I do on a daily basis, and hopefully influencing you in a positive way. So let me take my pills and my shake, go to the bathroom, I'm going to shit, shower, shave, read, clean up, all these things, and then I'll be uh, making another video for you guys soon. I'll probably just make like dozens of little videos throughout the day and then combine them all together here. All right, guys, so now I'm in the bathroom. Just finish up my reading. If anybody's curious, I'm reading Sports Nutrition uh, by Bill Campo. I just finished that. I just uh, brushed my teeth. Now, usually when I brush my teeth, I'm actually doing stomach vacuums while I brush my teeth, uh, but then I can't do this video. Uh, also, food for thought, I don't usually look at my phone until about 6 a.m. Uh, today I'm just doing it to show you guys kind of what I'm doing for my morning routine today. So anyways, first thing in the morning, after I do my reading, go to the bathroom, take a shower, brush my teeth, contact, etc. Now I'm going to be doing my stomach vacuums. Once I complete that, I'm going to go do my morning jog. It's a quick two-mile uh, jog, maybe 15, 16 minutes, something like that. And then I'll be back and uh, doing my meditation, breath work, focus breath work, then studying, and if I'm lucky, a little bit more reading. But anyways, stomach vacuums, guys, they should hurt, should be a bit painful. You have to fully relax your abs in order to make these happen. All you're gonna do is take a deep breath in. <laughs> Exhale. <laughs> Belly button to spine. And then for me, I do it three times a day. <laughs> Plus I get extra work with clients and stuff. But anyways, so let's do it again, 15 more seconds. This is how you get that nice uh, tight waist. You're training your transverse abdominis. You have lots of important stuff. One more and then before I forget I'm gonna weigh myself you guys can see what my day one starting weight is it's definitely a little bit heavier than I probably should be um, again as you, a lot of you guys know I've had a lot of injuries and stuff the last couple of months not through exercise but just through dumb things I've done and uh, previous health concerns so my weight's a little bit higher than it should it's kind of a good thing because I want to show you guys how easy it is to strip off fat and get really lean really quick too then anyways, last vacuum. <sighs> All right, so let's check my weight real quick here. Let's just take a little look here. There we go. Not sure if you guys can see that, but it says 218. Try one more time. I like to double check. See? That one says 216. And then I gotta try again three times and take the average that's just me uh -huh. so 216 
Now I end up saying this all the time to all of my clients, but your bathroom scale does not tell you how much fat you have on your body. They are not accurate. There is no accurate way to tell you exactly your body fat percentage. And furthermore, you really shouldn't care. You should just be healthy, look good, and be lean. Doesn't matter what your number is, it's irrelevant. Even if you're competing, it doesn't matter what your number is, it's irrelevant. The judges don't know what your number is. They don't care what your number is. They care what you look like, just like you should care what you look like. So the scale, the weighing yourself, it's a guesstimate. It also goes on how much water you have, how much water retention, how much food is in your intestines. You could be inflamed. Your weight can fluctuate 10 pounds in a day fairly easily. So just keep this in mind, guys. I'm going to get ready to go for my jog. The old uh, pre-run, pre-workout, I guess you'd call it. Uh, 50 degrees out in Florida so it's a little cooler so uh, you know how it is no shirt enjoy the cold so it's about five o'clock <laughs> nice and cold out still I did probably an extra half a mile or mile just because it's so nice out I like to do my work while the rest of the world's sleeping and I'll, I'll see you guys soon nothing stopping you from doing this either just a reminder Okay, so the breath work and meditation and focus protocol is done. I did that outside in my hammock, actually. Uh, I had my cute little cat, Mr. Beans, there sleeping with me while I was doing my stuff. He's used to me doing my, my Wim Hof and my, my breathing and stuff, so he just hangs out with me. It's too dark uh, for me to film in the hammock. Uh, plus, again, I need to have some private time anyways. We have a lot of videos coming up. You'll see me doing that in another video. Right now, what I'm doing is my journaling and tracking. So what this is, is basically I'm uh, self-reflecting on yesterday, how I did, how I accomplished everything, if I did or not, what I could have done better, um, things like that. You get the idea. And then I'm also going to be, since I put this away, pulling up my daily planner and going through to check off all the things I've already done this morning and then checking out the list to see what's coming up after that. It is a um, 6.15 now, showered again, getting ready to have another meal. Then I'm gonna do some uh, dead hangs, jump rope, burpees, light stretching while I'm doing my reading. I have uh, clients from eight o'clock through 12 o'clock. You get to meet a couple of them. Then a quick break, and uh, well, I'm gonna eat something again, and I'll probably uh, have a word with you guys about tracking Later on when I'm eating, why tracking is so important. I'm going to discuss how to do the tracking. Perhaps with one of my clients today, I'll go over measurements or breathing IQ or why tracking is important. And I'll try to record that as well. And uh, yeah, so that's what I'm doing right now. All right, guys. Next thing I'm going to make is just my next meal. It's going to be uh, three eggs, some beef I already have cooked off mixed with some organ meat. I'm just going to make a little omelet, add some cheese, butter, garlic, salt, that's it. Now, whenever you're cooking, guys, you want to think ahead, not just for this current meal. So, yesterday I cooked off about four or five pounds of really small, chopped up New York steak that I had been shaved, which I then chopped up even more. I mixed that with liver, fats, a bunch of different organ meats. You boil all that, strain it, season it. I got a couple pounds for the next few days. When I do eggs, I do a bunch of eggs at once, even though I'm not going to eat all of them, so later in the day I can just make another omelette very easily, or use it tomorrow. These things don't take a lot of time to do. I've only been cooking for about two minutes, I'm just about done. 
maybe another minute and a half, um, that'll be done. There you have it. Breakfast ready to go. We got this life, you don't get back. Make the most of it. Become the best that I can. Everybody look at me, I got a plan. You gotta work hard, play hard, do it from the start. Elbows up and down, here we go. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down, keep the spine straight, arm is straight, do not move your scapula, only the upper arm moves up and down, no bounce, focus on the elbow and keeping the pinky high. Just a little slower, a little smoother, not much. There you go. Speed it up. Back 
up. Back up. Back up. Keep going. Get your knees up. Why are your knees not getting raised? Keep that pelvis high. Push down. Push down. Elbow touches ground. Back up. Every time going for maximum speed. Keep going. Speed it up. Speed it up. Try to get as fast as you can. Fast as you can. Boom, 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 boom. Going for speed. Then fast hard. Yep. Up. Fast hard. Fast hard. One more, one more, one more. Pop! Looking good. You rest your hands together, it makes it a little bit easier. Scapula off the ground and down. Up and down. And just continue its effort, leaving the arms nice and relaxed. Almost. <laughs> Stand up and switch sides. Super chill, super relaxed. Just hang it out, real chill, real relaxed. Nothing's going on, just dangling. Try to bring your butt forward a little if you can. You don't want your butt quite so far back. Keep those feet pinned together, back up and over, feet pinned together, back up and over, back up and over, last one. Let's try to keep that back vertical.
little more forward roll. A little more forward roll. Better, better, get Lateral raises. 
You want to take a look, see? I'm still going for the eyes. All right, guys, so it's just past uh, 12 o'clock now. I just finished up with uh, my morning clients. I got some cool recordings of some of the things that we did together. Not everything, but, you know, some of the things. You'll see more over the next days. Um, <clears throat> right now I'm taking a quick break to eat my next meal. Take me 30 seconds to make. I'm going to show you how it's done. Then I'm going to take a quick uh, hot bath. I need to soak my legs and my back a little bit. They're kind of sore. And then I'm going to go do my workout um, after I've digested and relaxed in the bath. While I'm in the bath, I'm going to be editing all these videos I took this morning, actually, and digesting my food. After that, I'm probably going to Play with my cats for a minute. That's Baby Kira back there, aka Princess Fluffy Butt. She's my little lovely daughter. I love her. And uh, after that, if I'm lucky, I might have 15 minutes to sit in the sun and read. Uh, if not, I'm gonna have to just get on right to my next thing. At um, four o'clock, I got a body work session. I have a couple of online clients today. I'm not really sure how to show you guys that. It's just me staring at a computer talking to a client. Uh, I don't know. I'll see if I can make it interesting. And then. Um, Later today, I have my cardio. My cardio is me is uh, just walking for an hour today. And I'll be, once again, probably editing, doing my Instagram and Facebook marketing at that time. And uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated with everything I'm doing. But uh, for right now, let's just take a look at the meal. Once again, very easy. I have the same thing, the beef and the, the ground organ meats and everything. It's already pre-cooked. I'm going to grab that, grab some pre-made rice mixed with vegetables, put the two in a bowl, season it, throw it in the microwave for two minutes. I'm good to go. If anybody's curious, I'm just using this. You can also just make the same stuff yourself. I just got a bunch of these bags for cheap. About half the bag. So as you can see, uh, nothing fancy about food, guys. Now, when it comes to tracking, I told you I was going to mention it, so here's what I'm going to mention about tracking. When it comes to food, at least in the beginning, with new clients or with people who are not used to tracking their macros, I don't have them track. Here's what I tell them. Eat more protein. Eat less processed foods. Try to eat more frequently, foods that you enjoy eating and are healthy. And then we just kind of refine it over an extended period of time. People like myself, who are very accustomed to doing this, keeping an eye on our protein, carbs, fat, what kind of foods we're consuming, our diverse amount of fiber in our diets, etc., these things, um, well, I eyeball it. Now, the reason I can eyeball it is the same reason I can eyeball my clients and understand what their bones are doing. Uh, I have experience. It's just a long time of doing this. I know I just scooped about 30 or 40 grams of protein worth of meat in that bowl. I know how many carbs are in that rice. Uh, it's frozen. Frozen doesn't mean processed though, by the way. Now, you want to get into the rice. 
Reheating rice is slightly, uh, it's not as good as cooking it fresh, but again, it's one of those time constraint things. I only have about an hour and a half to, you know, relax, which is actually eating, doing my quick 15 minute arm workout, taking a bath, doing my video editing, and hopefully reading and playing with my babies a little bit. And then I'm right back to work again, so I don't want to spend all day cooking. And again, my meals, they taste delicious. They're very nutrient dense. So uh, anyways, I'm going to go eat this and then get back to work, guys. Alright guys, so it's time for my workout real quick. Now this is not a big deal. I don't treat it like it's a big deal. It's just about 15 minutes of my day. Today it might even be 12 or 13. Today what I'm doing specifically is, uh, I just did my warm-up, sorry, but uh, burpees, one minute, five minutes to jump rope. Then I'm going to do hundreds. This is a sarcoplasmic workout. It's about making the muscle bigger, increasing the amount of sarcoplasmic fluid, stretching out the fascia, chasing the pump essentially. What I'm going to do is 15 pounds bicep curls, as many as I can until mechanical failure with a tempo of 1-1. One, one. Then, brief break, 15 seconds at the most, pick them back up, I'm going to do it some more. And I'm going to keep doing this as many sets as it takes to get to 100 reps. Now hopefully I can do it in three or four sets. If it's taking you more than three or four sets, the weight's probably too heavy. If it's taking you a, a lot less, like maybe just one set, well, it's probably too light. You guys get the idea. For my triceps, I'm using 15 pounds. For my front delts, I'm using 15 pounds. For my lateral delt, it's 10. For my rear delt, it's 10. And for my upper trapezius, it's 25. So I'm just gonna show you real quick what it looks like all in a row. Uh, I might speed it up, I might leave it all 12 minutes, I might clip it. I have no idea yet how I'm going to do this video, so just uh, bear with me, guys. But anyways, let's get into the workout. Let's go! New year, new me, turn it up a new degree. I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I see. Work hard every day, work hard, then we play. I'll be doing everything in my own damn way. Ain't nobody tell me shit, I'm on top of it. Writing hits that make other people feel like writing hits. We gon' get every little goal that we wanna get. Never quit, we don't even know what it means to quit. Write it down, what you want, what you need, what you see. Everything that you wanna be. Put it out in the world, that's your destiny. In your mind, what you need is to have a Believe. I'm gonna make it, make it, make it to the top Cause I never stop My own switch doesn't have enough I think it's broken, I think it's lost I guess that's why I never take a loss Make a deal with yourself, you'll get after it Find something that you love, call it passionate Or find some passion and leave it behind, out of quit Your journey starts now, time to make it happen then You could be great, have it your way Served up like some room service on a nice plate The high life is only hours a day Your way from making a change to the life that you chase uh, New year, new you, new day Go prove to yourself you could do anything you wanna do When you set your mind to something big that you choose Break it down to the root, chip away you gotta move, push past all your limitations Right now consider this an invitation Make your worth go up like inflation And start chasing your dreams, stop waiting Turn it up a new degree, I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I see Work hard every day, work hard, then we play I'll be doing everything in my own damn way Ain't nobody tell me shit, I'm on top of it Writing hits that make other people feel like writing hits We gon' get every little goal that we wanna get Never quit, we don't even know what it means to quit Write it down, what you want, what you need, what you see Everything that you wanna be Put it out in the world, that's your destiny In your mind, what you need is to have 
believe I'm gonna make it, make it, make it to the top Cause I never stop My own switch doesn't have enough I think it's broken, I think it's lost I guess that's why I never take a loss Make a deal with yourself that you'll get after it Find something that you love, call it passionate Or find some passion and leave it behind adequate Your journey starts now, time to make it happen then You could be great, have it your way Served up like some room service on a nice plate The high life is only hours a day Your way from making a change to the life that you chase on New year, new you, new day Go prove to yourself you can do anything you wanna do When you set your mind to something big that you choose Break it down to the road, chip away Gotta move, push past all your limitations Right now consider this an invitation Make your worth go up like inflation And start chasing your dreams, stop waiting Turn it up a new degree, I'm gon' make it to the top if it's the last thing I see Work hard every day, work hard, then we play I'll be doing everything in my own damn way Ain't nobody tell me shit, I'm on top of it Writing hits that make other people feel like writing hits We gon' get every little goal that we wanna get Never quit, we don't even know what it means to quit Write it down, what you want, what you need, what you see Everything that you wanna be Put it out in the world, that's your destiny In your mind, what you need is that belief I'm gon' make it Make it, make it to the top Cause I never stop My own switch doesn't have enough I think it's broken I think it's lost I guess that's why I never take a loss huh. Alright guys, so I just finished up, and uh, the workout was uh, about 16 minutes, 22 seconds, you know, once I cut off the beginning and the end of the recording, probably more like, I don't know, 16 minutes, but it wasn't bad. Um, you know, I had burpees, I had jump rope, and I did the bicep, tricep, front delt, lateral delt, rear delt, upper trap, and as you can see, the weights and the number of sets it took me to achieve that. You saw the video, and you know how to do it if you don't have dumbbells. You can use bags with dirt or rocks or water bottles or cans in them. You can use really just about anything you like, guys. There's millions of ways to do this. Uh, you saw some of my clients doing similar things using body weight or cables. But, uh, yeah, you guys get the idea. I'm probably going to just speed up the workout to uh, keep this video a little bit shorter. All right, guys, so just uh, real quick, just finished up with my last online client. Uh, in that particular case, uh, they've been on their plan for about a month now. We were going over their new measurements. They were measuring themselves and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I realized I should probably go over that with you guys tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to go over how to actually perform basic measurements, uh, how to get your breath, your your actual breath IQ or how well you're breathing, how to measure your body, how to tell if you're losing fat building muscle. I'll make sure to go over that tomorrow. Uh, for right now, took a quick shower. I'm going to be walking over to my body work appointment uh, in just a minute. If it's within two miles of my house, I walk or I jog over. Why? It's because I have cardio to do anyways, which is walking today. So I'm just going to walk, and I always walk as if it's within two miles. I don't care if it's raining or snowing or cold or hot. I don't care. I walk, and I usually walk with ankle or wrist weights on or a weighted backpack. Not today, because I'm going to go to a body, uh, body session. I want to get all fixed up a bit. Uh, but for right now, anyways, it's going to be meal number uh, four. This is just going to be a shake that I put some MCT oil in. Uh, the particular shake is uh, Core Power by Fairlife. I uh, put about a teaspoon of uh, MCT oil in it. Now, because I'm going to be going to my body work session, uh, two things I didn't go over. Uh, one of them, I think you guys already know, but I smoke a lot of weed. I do a lot of weed. Before these kinds of sessions, I like to take some edibles. So in my case, I like the resin ones. Uh, this is actually vegan-free gummies. 
or vegan free, sorry, vegan gummies, I should say vegan free. <laughs> uh, each one is just uh, 50 milligrams. Uh, I'm just going to pack, I don't know, uh, four or five. Picking in about 45 minutes when I'm going to be deep into my session. And they're good, they're like cantaloupe flavored. Now they are sugar based, and each one is like whatever. 10 calories or something but I don't care this is like my little treat now when it comes to smoking I do prefer vaping just so you guys know it's a lot better it's also more efficient than burning but sometimes it's fun edibles are fun dabs are fun I usually just vape but uh yeah so I'll show you guys the body work session next after that, I got a couple more clients. I'm going to have to walk some more, clean the house, shopping, another meal, writing an article tonight, more video editing. You guys get the idea. Alright guys, so next meal, nothing fancy here, just a pre-made strawberry protein shake. This one is Rocking Protein Bodybuilder, 30 grams, plus one packet of apple cinnamon oatmeal, plus uh, one cup of saffron rice, and about, uh, give or take, uh, eight ounces of chicken. Alright guys, so I uh, finished up with my clients. Uh, my last client was actually at the park near my house doing running training so we finished up with that I finished up my walk just got home it's um, 8 40 now now at 9 o'clock I turn off my phone uh, probably not tonight but another night I'll be recording after 9 just so you guys can see what I do but uh, basically what I do is I go through clean the house laundry prep the next day stretching routine shower, you know, brush the teeth, read, might listen to a podcast, I do breath work before bed, you get the idea. But it's about an hour and a half before bed after my phone is turned off at nine. Uh, this is basically no exception, it's a very rare night that my phone doesn't go off at nine and I'm not home. Basically only if I'm somewhere out of than home. So um, yeah, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed today. I hope you liked the video. If you liked the video, subscribe so you can keep following the journey. It's just 90 days. I'm not doing anything special, really, except cutting some fat off and building muscle like I always do. But I'm always building muscle the most efficient way. So uh, there's nothing new about that, really. Uh, I hope you guys, like I said, enjoyed everything. Please leave me comments what you'd like to see from my day, things I've left out from my day you'd like to see. And remember, there's going to be another, you know, 80 some odd videos coming. So <laughs> there's a lot more to see. It's just day one. And I'm sure I'll get better at this as we go. It's my first time really like documenting my day, how it goes. So yeah, I had fun doing it. It was interesting, kind of cathartic. I could see uh, more things about myself. I'm sure I'll self-reflect a little bit in tomorrow's video. Have a good night, everybody. And I hope you all are having a great night yet. New year, new me, turn it up a new degree I'm gonna make it to the top if it's the last thing I see Work hard every day, work hard, then we play I'll be doing everything in my own damn way